Hey, I'm Marty Nimco. This is a uh, children's story I've just concocted, but it's not really a children's story as you're going to see. It's called Snoozer. I'm Adam, and I'm nine, and I want to tell you the story of my snoozer. I have plenty of toys, but I get tired of them fast. I have some friends, but not really close ones. I like school okay, but don't love it. I like playing sports, but not that much. I like reading, but not that much. I like watching TV and playing video games, but not that much. I feel like my life is in the middle, kind of beige. I do like to take walks, but my mother won't let me walk further than around the block. She's afraid I could get kidnapped or something. I think that's stupid, but I'm not brave enough to tell her so. After school, I walk around the block once, sometimes twice and on the weekend, sometimes three or even four times. There always seemed to be something new, a new flower in bloom, a different car parked on the street, someone painting their house a new color. On one of my walks, I was about to head home when I saw, a couple of blocks away, some brown animal moving. I couldn't resist. I ran the two extra blocks and saw it was a dog bouncing around, smelling this, peeing on that. I tiptoed, tiptoed over and saw it didn't have a collar. I said, here, boy, but it kept bouncing around. I got closer, and I was happy he didn't run away. I wanted to take him home, but he was too heavy to pick up. I talked nicely to him and got down on my knee so we were eye to eye. Still, he wouldn't come, but I took a step toward home, and he followed. I took another step toward home while whispering, good doggy, and he followed. He followed me all the way home. My mother said, what? I want to keep it. You're too young. I swore I would take care of her, but she refused. She got us in the car, and we drove and pulled into a driveway that said Oakland Animal Control. I screamed, no, and I would not stop screaming. My mother is not soft, but she saw me screaming and crying like that. Okay, what do you want to name it? Since it bounced around so much, I said, bouncer, and she laughed. My mother Googled dog training, and it said we need to crate train it. I hated that. It meant that Bouncer had to be in a cage a lot. But I didn't have a choice. I was very glad to have Bouncer to take care of and to love. But just a few months later, I went to Bouncer's crate to get him for his walk, and he wouldn't move. I opened the gate, and still he didn't move. I reached in to wake him, but he was cold. He had died. The vet said that a blood clot probably went to his brain and he died instantly, but with no pain. But I was in pain. At least I cried a lot. But this time my mom knew I would take care of a dog. So the next day we drove to that pound, this time not to leave our doggie, but to rescue one. We passed a lot of dogs that seemed scary or too much like a rat. Finally we came to a cage with a little fluff ball that was sleeping. When the clerk opened the cage, the dog lifted his little head toddled over and put his head on my thigh. That's my doggy! I cried again. I guess I do cry easily. And that's how we got Snoozer. The clerk said that Snoozer was given up by his owner because she was moving out of state and that Snoozer is perfectly house trained. I begged my mom, no crate. I want Snoozer free and I want him to sleep in my bed. And he does. I have to admit it isn't that comfortable. Snoozer starts the night at the foot of the bed but by the middle of the night, he's pressed against me so tight that I have to keep one leg off the side of the bed. It's okay. I love my snoozer. He has turned my life from beige to purple. In any event, that story is uh, called Snoozer, subtitled A Children's Story, but not really. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you taking a look at any of my 30 books. They're all on Amazon. Particularly relevant is my one children's book that I've written previously called Venus and Iris. Uh, uh, just go to Amazon and search on my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O. And you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.